think that what we're dealing with here is, the, I, mean, I say, judge for yourself. Remember, as I say, think of what scientific investigation and the reality, the truth that it has brought, have generated in your life today. But suddenly we pick on one particular subject? No, that's not true at all. It is basically a question of, um, it's not a finished theory. We and don't I, know all. And I was fishing, as you, as you said. Well, it could be, but I the long and short. I was for you to yeah. say what you said yesterday, because yeah. I believe, and you were talking about political, mm -hmm. you were, but you were talking about the political scientific community, but you were talking about yesterday political, and that's, I think, these, we the people, I think that's why you're here. You have allowed it to happen. I mean, you're the ones yeah. that have allowed, because he was saying politically, yeah. every textbook is determined by the local community. And if you're allowing it to happen, you're saying we're going to, yeah. if, you, if you believe that it ought to be taught, uh, it ought not to be taught as fact, well then you ought to be telling somebody about that <coughs> versus uh, sitting around and complaining about it. And uh, that's what a lot of people do. If they don't like something, they complain mm -hmm. about it instead of saying something about it and telling somebody you don't like it and saying, you know, change it. And, but you're uh, going to have to come up with reasons other than it is not my belief. Right because your religious belief is not a basis of imposing a means of instruction. And, I think and you, you cannot believe me in a courtroom or in a valid debate get by with some of the misrepresentations that have come from creation science, where they selectively take certain things and use them. And I'm not saying scientists don't do it, but on the side of science is the overwhelming strength of self-criticism, self, self uh, we might say, refinement and development of growth in a, an environment of criticism. But Dr. Hilpman has been, and Dr. Hoven both have stated, and uh, we, we have it in, uh, an understanding that both are, in scientific terms, theories. In scientific terms, theories, um, a theory because nobody was there. Mm -hmm. And that's my only contention, of course, as a Bible-believing Christian, and uh, from a biblical perspective, I've stated again, I'm all open to the theory. My biggest contention is the fact that, that textbooks yeah. say it's fact. Well, let's, put, let's put it in the context of today's news, or the last week. We've been, I've been listening, and I'm so sick and tired of hearing about this couple in Topeka with their baby in and out of the hospital because of their beliefs that without medicine and so forth. When you get into the field of medicine and much of what we're doing there, it's based on a number of things that are not accepted by religious dogma. And if you don't choose to accept it, you don't have to. But the long and short of it, as I say, you have a community in this society here in Kansas City, in this room, and in the United States with a Judeo-Christian background that fundamentally are living much of their lives accepting on faith the fruits of scientific research. Where it comes a cropper with the idea of the long or short age of the earth, that's a problem. And if I were going to accuse anybody of choosing the facts that give them the right date, I would say it is a creation scientist who cannot accept a long time unless they have to compromise the idea that the seven days were longer than seven days or some other you know, a circumvention of the, the element. They don't want to compromise their faith. And I'm not saying they should. I'm just simply saying is don't accuse us of attacking the Bible. When I look at a rock or I interpret a fossil, I do so merely to unravel a bit of Earth history to broaden that circle of light. Where the knowledge falls, I don't know. Alfred Nobel, the inventor of dynamite, he was motivated to do good for mankind. But obviously, it, his knowledge was misused and probably it brought more harm than good. I don't know. But we're not responsible for that. Right, I agree. No, you are. And that's exactly, exactly it. And yeah, you're the ones who have to come to grips the, with the problem <laughs> of the certain realities and certain faith. And that's it. Don't let anybody talk you out of anything, but don't expect schools to accept the argument that this is my belief. 
You can go to a religious school and do that, but if it's going to be a public one, it almost has to be independent of any theological view. I agree, and that's where evolution falls in the realm of theology, and it does not Well, that's a point that's school. been tested in the courts and will be tested again, and I'm not going to say that when the court Maybe says this is right, because well, I disagree with the court more often sure. than not. So well, many I'm sure the group, would probably, we can all agree well, on I that. I think that it's come to the conclusion that neither of these gentlemen are the ones that get to say ultimately what's printed in the textbooks, which is, um, you know, but you are supposed to be able to. Uh, th and that's kind of correct. where we, we uh, I love to c carry it on all night, and some of you probably would stay here all night. And I appreciate it. Some of you are in, would say, well, I've heard enough. I mean, if you want to stay around and ask some questions of these gentlemen, Please don't, uh, again, I think it's been an excellent evening. I'd like to thank them. I'd like for you to thank them for their good spirits. It's been uh, uh, what I uh, had hoped, uh, uh, just a good discussion of, of these uh, the facts and what, well, as we perceive them. So let's thank these gentlemen for uh, being here. Do you want to know more about how to combat the godless theory of evolution? Creation Science Evangelism offers four great tools that help strengthen the faith of believers and win the lost to Christ. After 15 years of teaching high school science, Dr. Hoven began Creation Science Evangelism in 1989. We are a ministry that is dedicated to providing tools which will help you combat the evolution philosophy that is destroying the faith of millions every year. The first tool Creation Science offers is their powerful, life-changing video series. Over the last 12 years, well over a million videotapes of Dr. Hoven's seminar have circled the globe. They are reaping a harvest of souls for the kingdom of Christ, as well as helping restore the faith of many thousands confused by the evolution propaganda to which they've been subjected. These videos are available in English, Russian, French, Spanish, Japanese, and sign language. The Age of the Earth, first of the seven-part series, teaches that God created the universe about 6,000 years ago in six literal days. Could this be true? Can it be scientifically proven that the Earth is not billions of years old? This tape gives solid scientific evidence that the Earth is young and that the Bible is scientifically accurate. How did the environment of the original creation differ from ours today? And how would this allow men to live over 900 years? Can Christians have a good explanation for the existence of dinosaurs? Could some dinosaurs still be alive today? These and many more questions are covered in the second and third part of the series. Evolution has permeated public school textbooks with false and fraudulent information. This video exposes nearly 30 lies commonly found in textbooks. Every public school student, teacher, and school board member needs to watch part four of this series. Find out if you have been lied to in your textbooks. Discover the terrible difference evolutionary beliefs have made in the past as well as in recent history in our video number five. Dictators throughout time have used their evolution-based philosophies to rationalize their brutal actions. Learn how evolution propaganda is being used today to prepare people for the new world order. This is just a taste of all the information the 17-hour seminar series has to offer. Also available are college courses that expand on the seminars in great detail. For those who can handle a more confrontational atmosphere, our debate series is just for you. I said, now, Mr. Patterson, if you think the tailbone is a vestigial, I, Kent Hovind, will pay to have yours removed. Dr. Hovind has debated a wide range of atheists and evolutionists all over the country. And you're sure to find these 12 debates very exciting. These would be perfect to present to that scientifically-minded person who likes to argue their point. <laughs>